This venue, licensed to hold almost 400 people, today holds just four. Their dreams of opening a brand new bar with a focus on live performances was snookered by the Omicron wave. The first night we've had staff in, we had a member test positive, so before we'd even been able to do any proper launches, we had to close our doors, kind of refigure out, and then, yeah, within 48 hours, the laws changed to not allow for dancing, and, yeah, everyone had to be seated. So at the moment, we're just trying to figure out how we can open, what that looks like, what's most cost effective for us, and trying to make, a, trying to make it work for everyone. Despite the restrictions, the government says nightclubs can still operate as bars, but transit bars owners aren't alone in finding that's easier said than done, with a number of venues shutting their doors because they won't have enough customers to make business viable. What we've got is an opening up where audiences and patrons are choosing to voluntarily lock down. In New South Wales, the state government has announced a $43 million event saver fund. The industry says there's a case for something similar in the ACT, though the most pressing concern is supporting artists and small and medium-sized venues. Probably something that is not about recovering from a lockdown, but is just sustaining businesses. Authorities have a lot to consider, with a woman in her 80s in a residential aged care facility today confirmed as the capital's fourth COVID death in three days. The ACT also recorded a record high of 1,860 daily cases, though that's attributed to a backlog of PCR test results caused by the temporary shutdown of capital pathology due to a lack of supplies. 63 people are now being treated in hospital for the virus, another record number, and close to the Territory's capacity to treat COVID patients in dedicated facilities. But the government says the impact of the virus on business and the arts won't be forgotten. While the business uh, sector is open and that businesses are uh, by and large, except really for nightclubs, are, are trading uh, as um, under normal conditions, uh, that we are keeping a close eye on uh, what it does mean. The government's discussing extending measures like the Small Business Hardship Scheme and the Amp It Up Fund, which offsets the costs associated with performance programming and promotion. And in the event that uh, the current restrictions extend beyond next week. Uh, we are looking uh, about whether there's any additional targeted assistance. Businesses are hoping it's enough to see them through the coming weeks. Harry Frost, ABC News, Canberra.